we started our trip at the Sainsbury Centre for Visual Arts, an art gallery and museum opened in 1978 on the campus of the University of East Anglia, just outside Norwich. In 1973, Sir Robert and Lady Sainsbury donated to the university their collection of over 300 artworks and objects, which they had been accumulating since the 1930s. The collection has since increased to several thousand works spanning over 5,000 years of human endeavour, including pieces by Jacob Epstein, Henry Moore, some of which are outside, Albert Giometti and Francis Bacon, alongside art from Africa, Asia, North and South America, the Pacific region, medieval Europe and the ancient Mediterranean. Norwich is the most complete medieval city in the UK. At the time of the Norman Conquest, the city was one of the largest in England and was still the second city of England after London for several centuries before the Industrial Revolution, which came late to Norwich due to its isolation and lack of raw materials. In the early 18th century, the city had a rich cultural life with the winter theatre season, the festivities accompanying the summer assizes, and other popular entertainments. At this time, Norwich was also the wealthiest city in England. During the Middle Ages, 57 churches stood within the city walls. 31 still exist today, and seven are still used for worship. city walls were constructed between 1280 and 1340. These walls at around four kilometers or two and a half miles enclose a larger area than the city of London. There's a sign above, Bullard and Son, Anchor Brewery. Elm Hill is the most famous street in Norwich. It was completely rebuilt after a major fire destroyed almost everything in 1507. The Britain's Arms was the only survivor. Elm Hill runs parallel to the River Wensum. From the 15th century, many wealthy merchants had their houses facing Elm Hill, with their factories and workshops at the rear with their quays on the river. The industrial prosperity of Norwich was due largely to the settlement of weavers, dyers, goldsmiths and other skilled craftsmen from Europe. Yeah, that was like a white ghost. 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 Y
with the dress. I think we might have. Yeah. Paul's Ferry is located on the River Wenson on the Norman route for the stone which came from France and was used to build Norwich Cathedral. A canal used to run under the arch. The building is named after John Paul who ran the ferry across the Wenson from 1796 until a bridge was built in 1943. Norwich Castle was built under the orders of William the Conqueror to subjugate East Anglia. From 1220 it was used as a prison for felons and debtors. The use of a castle as a jail ended in 1887 when it was brought by the city of Norwich to be used as a museum. The castle remains a museum and art gallery today and still contains many of its first exhibits as well as more recent ones. Strangers Hall was built around the 15th century. In 1627, a later resident, grocer Francis Cock, installed the walnut room, magnificent staircase and the window that lights it, the year he became mayor of Norwich. The term strangers was used for Dutch and Flemish refugee weavers who lived here having fled to Norwich from the Low Countries around 1567 as a result of the persecution of Dutch Calvinists by their Catholic Spanish rulers. They eventually numbered as many as one third of the city's population. In 1748, Strangers Hall became the official lodging of the Assizes judges who came to the city regularly to hear court cases. 
The Georgian dining room was installed for them, designed in the latest style with deep sash windows, painted wall panelling, decorated over mantel and plaster ceiling. The undercroft at Strangers Hall is thought to date from the 1320s when Ralph de Middleton owned a house on this site. The undercroft was used to securely store and possibly display goods for sale. Willow Lane was named in the 17th century after willow trees which used to grow on the south side. One of the mayor's duties was checking the willows. Norwich Market was founded in the latter part of the 11th century to supply Norman merchants and settlers moving to the area following the Norman conquest of England and has been in operation on this site ever since. Control of and income from the market was ceded by the monarchy to the city of Norwich in 1341, from which time it provided a significant source of income for the local council. In the early 15th century, a guild hall was built next to the market to serve as a centre for local government and law enforcement, the largest surviving medieval civic building in Britain outside London. It remained the seat of local government until 1938 and in use as a law court until 1985. 